So we have been looking at dividing fractions. We've found rule for dividing fractions. We are now going to look at what happens if we're dividing fractions where mixed numbers are involved. So we'll have a little reminder first of all about what our rule was for dividing with fractions. So we use this rule of keep, switch, flip, which basically if you're doing a division like this where you've got 9 over 10 as that first fraction, so we keep the first fraction. The switch means that we are changing from a divide, switch and round to via times. And the flip, that means you flip the, the last fraction over so it becomes 5 over 3. So we need to multiply these two fractions together. We can multiply and then simplify or I would say to you it's usually better to try and simplify and then multiply. So we can cancel here between the 5 and the 10. So 5 into 5 is 1, 5 into 10 would be 2. We can also cancel between the 3 and the 9. So 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into 9 would be 3. That would leave us with on the top 3 times 1 which would give us 3 and on the bottom 2 times 1 which is 2. That's a, an improper fraction or a top heavy fraction. We can of course change that back into a mixed number um, by doing 2 into 3 which is going to give it goes in once but I've also got a remainder of 1. So I know that this fraction here, two, 3 over 2, is the same thing as 1 whole. And the one, the remainder of it is that how many halves we've still got. So 3 over 2, same as 1, uh, one and a half. So keep, switch, flip. I still want you to remember that rule as we go on and have a, a look at the next bit of this. So... What if we had a fraction that looked like this? So we had 5 over 8 and we were having to divide it by 3.5, which is a, a mixed number. Now you've come across multiplication with mixed numbers. And in that case, we had to change the mixed number into an improper fraction. And that is exactly what we have to do here. So we're going to be using the same rule, right? We're having to change our mixed fraction into a top heavy fraction, first of all. So just to remind us how to do that, remember that you do the whole number, in this case the 3, times by the bottom number, the denominator, and then you add on the top number. And that tells us, in this case, that we have got 7 of these halves. Okay, so the bottom number will always remain the, the same. So 3 times the 2, add on the 1, that's how you get your 7 halves. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 5 over 8 divided by 3 and a half and we are writing the 3 and a half now as 7 over 2. So that's the first thing that we have had to, to do, which is Right, change the mixed fraction into a top heavy fraction first. So once we've done that, right, notice that we've still got this divide sign going on at this line here. We're not flipping anything over until it looks like we've got two fractions side by side. So now it looks the same as what we were doing before. We don't have any complications with whole numbers. So now we're going to apply the keep, switch, flip rule. So we can write down the 5 over 8. That's our keep. We change the divide to times. And we flip over. It's the 7 over 2 that gets flipped. And um, we will see here that we can do a little bit of cancelling between the 2 and the 8. So 2 into 2 is 1. 2 into 8 is 4. There is no other cancelling to do there. So we're left with 5 times 1 on the top, which is 5. 4 times 7 on the bottom would be 28, and that would be our final answer, 5 over 28. So, key thing, 
when you have a division which involves any kind of mixed number at any it could be either of those terms then we will be looking for you to remember you must change your mixed fraction into a top heavy fraction first and then you do the keep switch flip so if you pause the video here you can have a go at doing each of these three see how you get on um, I'm going to work through them one at a time so again you could do one and then pause as we go so this first one first thing we do we change them into top heavy fractions so we're going to have your 3 times 2 is 6 plus the 1 means you've got 7 over 2 we are dividing by your 2 times 3 would be 6 and 1 is 7 over 3 now I've got two fractions dividing each other so I now use my keep switch flip rule so I'm going to have my 7 over 2 change my switch my divide to times and I flip the second fraction and this one we can clearly see we've got a 7 that we could cancel between top and bottom and then that means that our final answer will be 1 times 3 which is 3 and on the bottom 2 times 1 which is 2 and we change that into our mixed number so already seen that 3 over 2 becomes 1 and a half with the second example if you do the same thing you can either pause the video again have a go yourself and then come back in and check it so you should have 3 times 5 is 15 plus the 3 would make that 18 over 5 you should still have that divide by sign going on there you've got 2 times 3 is 6 add 2 means that is 8 over 3 now we're ready to do the keep switch flip so we're keeping the 18 over 5 we are switching from divide to times and we are flipping over the 3 over 8. Any cancelling to be doing here, well we can see we've got an 18 and an 8 there, both on the 2 times table. So we're going to say 2 into 18 is 9, 2 into 8 is 4. There's no other cancelling to do there, so our final answer we would be doing 9 times 3 would be 27 over 5 times 4 would be 20. Again, that's top heavy. If you can see that if you divide 20 into 27, it's going to give you 1. And you'd have 7 left over. So 1 and 7 twentieths. That last little step isn't necessarily essential, but it's good practice to be interchanging between the, the two different versions. As long as this 27 over 20 is in its most simplest form. So the last example, um, the key thing here is that the 8 as a whole number needs to be written as a top heavy fraction so it needs to be written any whole number remember can be written over 1 so we're writing 8 over 1 we are dividing by changing the 2 into 7 so you've got 2 times 7 on the, the bottom there 14 plus the 2 on the top means 16 over 7 you're then ready to use the keep so keep the 8 over 1 you switch the divide to times and you flip the 7 over 16 hopefully you can see that you can cancel between the 8 and the 16 so 8 into 8 is 1 8 into 16 is 2 and you are then left with doing 7 times your 1 times 7 on the top 1 times 2 on the bottom so 7 over 2 we can change that into a mixed number if you do 2 into 7 it goes 3 times and you get a remainder of 1 so when you write out your fraction and your answer you would have 3 whole pieces and 1 half left over so 7 over 2 is the same as 3 and a half so now it's your turn to practice hopefully you got those correct and you can go on and do more practice on this